Part 5 asks us to find the dilution rate for an exiting cell concentration of 9.5 grams per decimeter cube. So the dilu dilution rate can be calculated and it's equal to the specific growth rate of the cells, which is mu is equal to mu max times the cell the substrate concentration over the monod, con the, the monod constant plus the substrate concentration. We can find the concentration of the substrate by using the yield coefficient, y cells over substrate, which is the cells out minus cells in concentration over the substrate out minus substrate in concentration. We can rearrange this in terms of C the concentration of substrate out, so we get C out minus C in for Y C over S is equal to C S out minus C S in. And then we can say C the concentration of substrate out is equal to the concentration of substrate in minus concentration of substrate out minus concentration of substrate in because it's disappearing over our yield coefficient. And using the values from the question, we have substrate in of 20 grams per decimeter cubed minus 9.5 for our cell concentration out, minus naught because there's no, none initially over the yield coefficient. So this gives us a cell concentration out of 1, our substrate concentration of 1 gram per decimeter cubed. We can then use this to find the dilution rate by substituting our value of substrate out into our equation for dilution using the following. So our initial, our specific maximum growth rate is one, um, one hour of minus one times one gram per decimeter cubed over Ks is 0.25 grams per decimeter cubed plus 1 gram per decimeter cubed and we get a dilution rate D equal to 0.8 hours minus 1. Part Part B asks us to find the dilution rate that will give the maximum product rate. So in order to calculate that, we use the following formula. So D max prod for maximum productivity equal to the maximum specific growth rate times 1 minus the square root of Ks over Ks plus concentration of substrate in. Now we're given the values in the question in order to solve this. So it's simply the case of putting the values into the formula. And we get a, ma and we get a maximum productivity for D of 0.889 hours to minus 1 and this is the dilution rate which will give the maximum productivity for our cell. Part C is concerned with asking for the dilution rate at which washout will occur. We'll use a formula to find this out. This formula states the maximum dilution rate before washout occurs is equal to the maximum specific growth rate 
times the concentration of substrate in over our Ks monod constant plus our concentration of substrate in. Similarly as before, the question supplies the numbers in order to solve this. We get 1 times 20 over 0 0.25 plus 20, and we get a dilution rate of 0 0.987 hours to the minus 1, the point at which washout will occur.